Hello, magician, and welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a comment or ask a question at soulgarden.tv in the Pisces viewing room. I'll do my best to shout back or answer one week later. Well, it looks like sunny and social today for the Pisces. The moon has now transitioned into Capricorn, so your emotional focus will be your social status, your social life, and your social reputation. So your emotions are focused on how you fit into the society matrix, so to speak. But during most of the day, the moon will be crossing in front of Pluto. Now, Pluto is retrograde, but it's still a force that regenerates us. Wherever Pluto shows up, it tells us astrologers that part of our awareness is going to die and be reborn. We're going to let go of old and we're going to give birth to new. When the moon crosses, over Pluto, that's what happens when it comes to some sort of emotional attachment we have. So perhaps you have an emotional attachment to a particular friend or an emotional attachment to a particular title in, in society or getting some certain job and perhaps that attachment is holding you back from true success. Sometimes the universe has a much better plan than we do. So if you find yourself mourning the loss of something today, let it go and let it flow as I like to say. Let's make room for new consciousness to be born. This is zipping around in the sun and Aries today. Neptune is ruling the day so it's a meditation vibration day and I'll take this moment to plug our good friend Julie Zipper who has a new episode out today on the Soul Garden home site about meditating and annihilating fear. That said, today is an excellent day to meditate, to log into your guides. We're in chapter 3 now of Sun and Aries. The topic is how to raise self-esteem, how to become more productive, how to raise capital on the planet which is abundance in spiritual talk and if you don't know what to do, where to go, Ask your higher self. They've got a top view down on the whole situation. Then lastly for our shout out goes to someone named Orichi Maru who asked the question in the Pisces room about are there other signs than the 12 we know? You know, that's like a common topic I hear all the time, especially the idea of a 13th sign, and it's allegedly between Sagittarius and Scorpio. I don't really buy into that myself personally, and if anything, I think the 13th sign would be the cusp babies, people born at zero degrees, because they are unique in every 12 of the signs. So in that case, there might be 13 sign, but there's one in each one. But generally speaking, the 12 signs are really just a way of designing or organizing the entire three 360 degree view of the stars around us and I don't necessarily believe that the constellation Pisces is what's guiding you. I think Pisces is marking a spot in the sky where there's a hundred million stars. All right Pisces that's all I have for the day. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. Live love be. So